It was quick, yes. And this one can't go by quick enough because it's we we're, the heat index is up to 110 until Thursday. I guess I'll have to do it like that, like that. I don't know why. So happy Tuesday, everybody. It's July 5th. And uh, we're going to continue some Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition from last week. Uh, we left off, uh, we're playing some Waterdeep Under Siege, and we're on session 15 this week. And you guys, like, got a, got a missing person report or something, and you guys came out here to check it out. And uh, sure enough, uh, you found the missing people, and they've been chopped up into piles, into piles. And there's some kind of under terra underground terrain extraterrenial. You know you don't know what it is. And uh how's everybody? Well, good. 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 Yeah, yeah, good. It's well, a good long weekend. You know, since it was like a three day weekend and you guys were slacking the whole weekend. Why don't we just bust a move on just 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 roll initiative? Just, I worked all weekend, actually. Thank you very much. Oh, well, then you need this, then. You, you need to roll initiative. Yeah, I slept all weekend. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do a whole lot either. So you guys uh, checking out these body parts? And, <coughs> ugh, excuse me, down here. And... Uh, as she's you know, like kind of moving down the hallway and and uh, you, you nudge uh, Orag behind you and, and you you hear these three guys before you see them they're like they're like mumbling like they're casting spells or some shit and uh, they're totally <coughs> not paying any attention to you guys so I am going to give them the old surprise surprise. Uh, so the bugbear needs to run up there and just start stabbing. I, I don't know how it works, but. Um, and he has initiative. <laughs> All right. And is he, um, is he holding anything? There's, there's a. Is no focus or anything? There's three of them. Uh, you probably can't see them. I see sleek site. bra. Oh. There you go. And I don't even need to see the other ones. Yeah, sleep I'm focused bra. on this bra. And what what they're doing in here is they're they're like there's all kinds of like scrolls and schematics and stuff and there's uh, three of these cultists they're trying to it looks like they're trying to cast a spell or do something. They're practicing, you think. Okay. Um all right, so if they're not holding anything, I'm going to move up. Well, they might be holding, like, a scroll or something. I did say that I refilled my dagger. So I'm going to do a little stabby stab. You don't even have to go in there. <laughs> oh, and to the right, there's a, a, a cell with a, a female and a boy inside of it. We look at you, big eyed. What the hell? Surprise, poison, sneak attack. She, the guy's got like two hit points. He's just gonna, he's just gonna explode all <laughs> over the wall like a mosquito. So I'll do the poison after. Oops, I already hit. Just damage. All right, so a little sneaky snick. What? Mm -hmm. I'll step over here. <laughs> See, Ooh, hit points by twenty-two. That's not overkill. That's not overkill. It's a lady. What's up, Layroon? What's going on, man? Fantasy Grounds Academy in the house. 
Because I just sort of nod at the woman. What's up? <laughs> she, her jaw just like falls down to the ground. Clunk. And she like reel your arms back in. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you get cranks on your eye. <laughs> Did you ever have a stretch Armstrong when you were a kid? <laughs> oh, it's a token of a girl. Okay. I was like, what is that in the, next to me? All right, I had to zoom way in to see it. It's, okay, it's, so there's two people actually, in, the, in, the, in the cage then. He's like, I'm a boy, he says. Okay. With pigtails, all right. And, and he looks okay. at his, Just and he spin, looks at his spin, mom. Don't go there. He looks at his mom. <laughs> there, it's wear a dress. it's dual man buns. <laughs> I'm starting off yeah. right. It's a boy named Sue. Boy. Uh, uh, Markella. Yeah. Uh, this guy's I like. See anything? Markella, give me an Arcana check, right? Are you trained in Arcana? Yeah, I am. All right. This doesn't mean I'm you good at it. You think these guys are trying to? You think these guys are trying to cast darkness? You think they? You think they're failing at it? Uh, well, let's see if I can help them uh, fail at it. Uh, let's uh, decaying reach this guy that's closest, the uh, mangled right ear. I think Sleek Bra really screwed up when he cast his darkness. He's like, huh? It's funny, Sleek Bra would have went next and not been surprised if he wasn't dead. Just the, the <laughs> order it's going into. Uh, uh -oh. And I will step out of the way so that other people can get in here. Marley. This is my friend, Morkel. <laughs> the little, um, the he, little. He's okay. Uh, I know he looks scary, but don't be afraid. <laughs> He goes, hi, my name's Sue. <laughs> uh, Marley will just move right on up there. But you just kind of strolling in, like, with your hands in your pocket. Like, yeah, because I can't, I can't see. Oh, now I can see what's going on. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this dude right here. I mean, you know, what the hell? Did, did your mama let you play with the... With the hellhounds when you were a kid, what happened to your ears? He totally looked surprised. Yeah, and uh, where the hell's my? There it is. And I will viciously mock him. No. About his really? Mama. Yeah. Yeah. Really. I'm gonna viciously mock him. Oh, he viciously goes. And he succeeds. He um, viciously goes. What? I I can't hear you. I. I have my 80s music going. He taps to his ears. Trying to Let's see. I want to uh, look at... Uh, I'm going to turn around and look at S. As a bonus action, go, S, man. There's just enough for you to just get warmed up on for your next fight. Give me some bardic inspiration. Uh, which is my last one. To S. And Marley's got nothing left, so that's... Uh, do, do, say, do. He looks around like, holy shit, there's people in here, and I'm totally surprised and can't take actions. Holy, past my turn. And he nudges his buddy, hey, and his buddy next to him looks at him, he's like, you know what? I'm totally surprised, too. You are? Oh, so am I. And he passes his turn. Dalgron. Um, Dalgron's going to um, run up here. And um, he's going to cast um, that cantrip on what's this uh mangled right ear uh -huh. mommy mommy thing. it's a petting zoo oh he fails ooh three points this year looks what is that, even uh, more mangled 
He's going to look back over his shoulder and say, I don't know why we're always last S, but I saved you one. This is like, this is like my bike got wedged in this stupid crawl, crawl space back here. <laughs> he comes dragging it out. S sulkily rounds the corner after everybody's taken all the fun and killed everything. Oh, mangled and, ear did die. I didn't see that. He falls unconscious. He's like, oh, he stabbed the other guy. The... Aw, he survived. And then I hit him with the butt of the spear. Like in the nose. Like, oh, oh he dodged. Oh, he dodged. Bastard. Top of the round. Orag. Do I see any keys on the... Uh... Dying people. <laughs> Do you uh, like a big like keychain or something hanging on their belt yeah. or something? No, nothing or on, on the wall anywhere around here. Um, uh, you kind of like in the, reach. you're just kind of in an odd spot to be looking for a key hanging up in there. All right, so I'm going to uh, take out my th thieves tools and start trying to pick the lock. I'm sure it'll probably take more than six seconds, but I am pretty good. Uh, you Just can give saying. me a, 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 a Thief's Tools Dexterity roll. Oh, that is pretty good. Um, You think the lock will take you less than one minute to pick? Nice. So I'm gonna, I'm, that's what I'm, what I'm doing. I'm not concerned about them anymore. Ugly arms. Wow, he, he's going to be like, Hey, uh, you guys, uh, uh, you, you're, you're not here to help me cast spells. Oh, you just killed my... Uh, he's going to... He, out of like sheer like panic, he's just gonna swipe at S with his scimitar. He's like, "Oh shit!" He like he like hits S upside the face with his scimitar. And he's like, Whoosh. he's like, "Oh, oops!" And uh, knocks S unconscious for around. <laughs> if we were using it, <laughs> it's a, he just knocks S in the face like. Hard. S was barely like, paying attention like to him. Like, totally uh, not even looking like he meant to do it on purpose. He's like, oops. He's like, oh my god. Ooh, 10 points of damage. Pop. He's going to back out. He'll take the attack of opportunity. He doesn't care. He's just like, oh, shit. And he's still within my threatened range. <laughs> That's handy. And more cow. All right, Morkel, uh, I'll just move up, and uh, I'm going to whack him with my shillelagh. Hey, come over, and you're like, <laughs> like, bop him in the back of the... He's like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't really mean to, I didn't really mean to hit you. The, the snake got fed. <laughs> what was he saying? Were you guys paying attention? <laughs> mm -mm. I think. I think he was saying, I think he was saying, we cleared it, yay! I think he was trying to apologize. All right, let's do this. Let's just turn it on. Let's just, let's just, let's just unlock the tokens. Let's just open it up. Because there ain't nobody else in here. Everybody else is dead. There's two guys over here. Uh, yeah, oh, there's oh, two I mean, guys in the north. The, they're trapped in a cell, so they're they're not really gonna. They're not really gonna. They're like, hey, little boy, would you like some mushrooms? Um, I didn't know lizards could talk. Neato. We got a snake that can talk too. <gasps> really? He's got red eyes. You don't want to uh, look him in the eyes, otherwise he'll eat you. S licks his lips. <laughs> he kissed me on his mom. His non-existent snake lips. Mommy! 
It's okay, honey. Don't use your special powers on them and destroy them all. What the hell is that? <laughs> Where's that from? Where's, <laughs> did somebody bring the baby back? Where, where is the baby? <laughs> uh, so down here, uh, uh, S, when you come down to this area here, it's uh, when you turn the corner, it's a mound of bones, desiccated body parts, and skulls on a large piece of fabric and it's like the room's kind of partially collapsed but it looks like somebody's been just piling body parts on top of this cloth just piling them in here just... i use my pike to kind of sift through it see if there's anything other than body parts there's some kind of like runes on the fabric I think it might be arcane in nature. Any of you know anything about arcane runes? Well, it's a little known fact that I am quite an expert in it. I'll, I'll take a look. Oh, I'm proficient too. <laughs> wow. Look at all you people that know arcane shit in a wild magic zone. Hmm. How handy. You can give me the uh, the roll, arcane roll. Got Marley's wonderful six. He ain't helping nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Morcal and Dalgron, however, do think that there is some kind of rituals something gonna be happening here uh, uh it's some kind of guardian thing on there it's uh like puts up a ward well it would help if you actually go to the room where the ritual is that might help you improve your role a little bit oh <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah 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 <laughs> it's uh that right there if you touch it it'll shock you He's Meanwhile, like, I've got somebody's just describing the runes to him, and he's in the other room. He's like, "Yeah, I, I understand what that is. It's I got a six. That's exactly what that is." Or, or, or. We're it's shouting down the hallway. <laughs> yeah, hey, what's that one mean? It's got a squiggly. It's got, it's got, <laughs> and it goes like this. <laughs> yeah. Remember that sigil we saw the other day? That's not it. It's different. Um, so it's I'm definitely opening the gate. It's definitely not complete. The ritual. Mm. Should complete we just it. burn this? That's complete what I was it. Just throw they some went, oil on it. And they did most of this work. There. You're just going to let it go to waste? All right. Should finish it. Should finish it. I'm going to open the gate. Let the... Uh, Straight let up the, the gate. You do find a key, too, on somebody. Somebody's got keys. Um, do you, we are with, uh, at friends of Dr. Troy, uh, do you need, would you like us to escort you home or are you able to get home? Yeah. Where do you live? Little boy. Uh, I, 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 uh, he hides behind his mom. Who's holding it's the baby? American Dad, isn't it? Isn't that the alien on American Dad? It's, um... uh, it's Razmataz from uh, some oh. podcast. Uh, okay, I maybe I'm all messed up. Thought it sounded like him. So does she say anything? Who? Uh, Razmataz. The woman. I asked asked her if she wanted us to escort her home, or if she's okay to leave. Well, she says. Point. She says, "Oh, we're not here to be sacrificed." She looks all. She's just out of her mind, pretty much. She's lost it. 
She's Marley shouts kinda. back and says, Oric, don't eat him. You just ate earlier. Come on, let's go. So I'll leave this <laughs> unlocked and uh, we'll come back in a moment. If you're still here, we'll help you home. I'm going to go look we for this. There's them. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to search them and uh, the room over here. The peoples? They're, they're too... Uh... See, this, this says two cells can be accessed from the dungeon level or by triggering one of the two traps in the main level. Um, there are two male adults in the north cell and one female adult and a male child in the south cell. Uh, the groups... Uh, would know that there are two to be sacrificed the day after uh, to the stone idol. That's all they know. They're scared out of their mind. I'd let them out. We setting this thing on fire, Macrell? Yeah, as soon as everybody's done down here. I don't want this place to fill up with smoke if we're still down here. So, so I'm searching the bodies in the room. Do I need to roll or is there nothing hidden? These guys dancing in here, ask. I guess these guys are dancing. I'm a Rocking dancing out. fool. I'm a... That's you can probably nice. get a few silver for their scimitars. Sell them in the store. We need silver with a guaranteed cultist scimitar. With a certificate of authenticity. You can buy them as a set or individually. Partially used cultists' scimitars. And I'll yeah, rub there's... Some, some of their blood on it on the thing so that way we can scimitar with blood on it. That's it's real more... authentic blood. You can't just get blood. Exactly. Cultist blood, no less. <laughs> My buddy. <laughs> Freaking AC's out. It's blood. like 100 degrees down here and his AC goes out today. That sucks. Yeah, I, they just fixed my AC today. It's been out for, of course, Thursday night dies and then it's the weekend. So, holiday weekend. Oh my god. So, Pay twelve hundred dollars or wait till Tuesday, so I guess we'll wait. <laughs> I told him to go normal operation on these cultists. Add to my snack. What are you doing to him? I'm sorry. Oh, the uh, the usual uh, search and recover. Yep. So if you want to add the scimitars, there's there's more. probably a few more floating around too. If you want to like, you know, have a big bundle oh. of scimitars or something as you come out. <laughs> Can we worth some silver pieces or steel pieces? Sorry. <laughs> um. Oh. Unlock this door and let them out. Just you crawl figure it out. Yeah. yeah, they'll they'll uh they'll definitely take off. the 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 woman needs a little persuading. She's a little confused. I'll scare her. Start eating the sun. <laughs> oh God, it's eighty seven degrees in his house. I told him to go get an air conditioner at Home Depot. They were on sale. Put in his window, at least in the bedroom, so it's cool. S will pick up the sun and grab her by the arm and just start marching up the stairs. Just drag her out by her hair. Yeah, just drag her out. We like, can smoke, smoke her out. Yeah, if there's nothing else in this she room, I'll go with as well. She doesn't need like the drag by her feet persuasion, but a good, a good kind of, you know... Guide well, she to gets get it out. until she starts moving on her own. <laughs> she just drags her. 
<laughs> when she starts moving on her own, I'll let her go. <laughs> no. I'll right. go with him. And I assume we're done down here, so uh, I'm going to try to light this uh, this parchment on fire. Let there be fire! I don't think you need to roll any kind of skill challenge to not burn yourself up. That'd be pretty I bad. I mean, you're not using, like, alchemy fire or anything, like, weird, are you? No, I've, I have a tinderbox. I was going to use that. <laughs> It's kind of sappy and, like, gooey and, like, full of, like, organ juice and stuff There's down here. There's a whole here. bunch I of mean, upstairs. That yeah, what are you doing with your tinderbox? It, it, it definitely needs some uh, oil or something, some kind of flammable liquid. to. Let's go bring this brazier down and toss it on it. There you go. Let's do that. <laughs> There's it's several like, of them. It's like... I don't have to carry a lit brazier. Yeah, it's like, ow! Get it off the steps! No, it's catching on the door! Ouch! Come on! Bring it down! Ow! You're doing kung fu it. Yeah, I was going to say, haven't you seen kung fu? I've, I've got a crowbar, and I've got a pike. You just <laughs> stick it through. Yeah. I was just planning to mispronounce it as brazier and carry that down. And then you'd have two you have hot. to carry two of them. Yeah, two of them. Yeah, two of them. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you guys uh, you would get know creative I have and oil. burn this thing. You would know I have oil. So if you yeah. want to borrow one of my oil flats, just give it back when you're done. There's probably a lantern or something you can use to around. I mean, I'm just saying it definitely needs a catalyst. You know, <laughs> it's not going to just burn this cloth throw the oil these... lamp at it like a Maltov cocktail all these goopy body parts on it so say it'd be easier to finish it just complete it what are you guys uh are you guys you guys really didn't spend a whole lot of time like researching like this thing whatever it is yeah Researching it where? Like, like searching edit. that room? Like yeah, trying it, to figure out terrifying. what it is. Yeah, it's it, terrifying. It is pretty well, there are some pieces right it's here. Right? scary. Uh, so, yes, uh, what happened to your face there? It, uh, it looks like a... Oh, there was an image scimitar. I was supposed to show you here. This is the image. You actually let so... one of them hit you? I don't... <sighs> Yeah, see, that doesn't make me want to go examine it more. It was just <laughs> luck. Pure luck. I mean, does, does the image even make any sense? I mean, it looks like Cthulhu. Some some kind of a weird octopi creature. It's called a mind flayer. They uh, eat brains. I read about them. I said I wanted to use my Warhammer to, like, break off all the tentacles that I can. Yeah, I mean, it, it says a, a strange cynical being protrudes from the rough rock wall. The thing appears to be made of rock, but some of the parts are soft like living flesh. It writhes and makes faint moves, but it appears unaware of its surroundings. And then, and then after you smashed it for, like, a minute earlier... Uh, no longer moved. Well, I want to take two pitons and pound it through its eyes. Just bury them completely. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can you can just totally, like, destroy it. Like, yeah, crumble it. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, die! Die! Anything cool inside it? it it's like... Rock. Yeah, like... It's a pinata. Dirt. It's like dirt. I think it's made out of rock my anger management beat this rock until it turns to dust now however the the statue upstairs the the, the purple thing uh you, you can't even scratch it what was i breaking then that's what i thought he was hitting that's the, what i thought i was hitting the thing down below it uh 
Yeah. Yeah, that's where Marley just went. Oh, those things oh. on the wall. Okay. I break that up. No, that's what you saw. The the picture of was the thing down below. It, the, it's, it's hanging out or whatever. It's roots. But this thing, you can't even, up here, you can't even scratch it. You can't even hurt it. You don't even know what kind of stone it's made out of. Yeah, did I do a, a stone cunning check on it? I can't remember. Um. Yeah, I mean, you, you're 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 like, uh, yep, it's stone. I mean, you don't know a whole lot about it. You don't think the stone is indigenous to anywhere near here, or? Oh, that's right. It was uh like even before dwarven stuff yeah yeah it's older than really uh you think it's been around a, a long time the the roots are dead the 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 uh s stabbed them for okay. a, a minute so yes you can but if you enjoy that kind of thing <laughs> It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Uh oh, what's in here? Oh, there's a baby in here, and dad, dad, cross over to you. Don't eat the baby. Oh, this is a a glowing crystal sphere illuminates the small rectangular room with wooden flooring and little furniture a single tall bookcase dominates the view um are there any good books hmm. give me a intelligence investigation check are you sure not something different <laughs> uh you know, like books, whatever. I forgot how to read, guys. <laughs> Me. You pull out a book and it says, uh, you know, M Moby Dick or something, you know, a, liter a literary classic, you know, you, you just, when you pull out, whatever. I uh, thumb through it real quick, and there's no pictures, so I throw it back it, on the shelf. Volo's Guide to Monsters. You, you just, it's like, you're like, oh. What would I ever do with this? <laughs> Does anyone else want to look at the books? That might have a better intelligence role. Than... Thalgren will look at him. I don't know if he's got a better Probably intelligence, but... <laughs> S looks for books about fighting and weapons. So you pick up a book and it says, Fuller's Guide to Monsters, and you just look at it and shrug and you put it back, uh, Dalgron. What? What? Oh, that what was S. I'm sorry. That was S that did the same thing. You got a seven. Hi. Just how? What is it? History? No, it's uh, investigation. Investigation. Investigation intelligence. And Talcron does. We're, try we're trying to read. I'm a pro at that. Man. Oh. Talcron, you uh, and Marley also um, just start looking through the books and you realize that they're. It's just a oddball collection of books. Is there's no, like. Like. Col col Cohesive collection. You can even see like some books that were just like added. Looks like they were just to fill space up or something. But the bulk of the majority of the books range from uh, uh, literary classics of reach recent human culture and a few tomes of elven origin. And that's about it. Some something in here about. Marley's grandparents or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. 
I ever tell you guys my uncle used to love me, but she died? Maybe, uh, maybe you guys are like the Umbrella Academy kids somehow. All your parent, your mothers died on the same day. Uh, actually, they all died in the same week, so that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. That's nice. I mean, they could have died in the within a few days of each other. That's how fast the Black Ice team takes over. Depends on your constitution rules. Since her husband's probably dead now, we'll introduce her to the other two captives. See, maybe they, they want to hook up. She's already had sex with them. <laughs> where the, that's, that's where the boy came from? from? Yeah, they don't want nothing to do with it. They, they, she keeps saying that this is her, their, their son, Sue. He wrote a book, didn't he? About war? Yeah. The Art of War. Sun Tzu. It was good. Good one. Sun yeah. Tzu. That was fast. That was fast. Uh, let's 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 see if there's anything you, you go you guys might find interesting in this text. So ignoring the monster, I'm gonna try to look behind it. Let's see what's back here. Any non-cultist that starts his turn within 25 feet of the statue must make it. So it's it's scary. It's mm -hmm. scary. Uh, there was a passive perception score of 14 higher. Outline a secret door behind the east brazier. And I want behind the idol. So there is one. Here. My passive 15. I think we already found it, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we okay. found them all. And then, and then there's one over here. And then inside of those secret secret areas, you found uh, two chests on the right side, which was full of kidnapped right. people, which you've you've collected several identifying items. Uh, right. There was also a leather sack of coins and jewelry in one of the chests. Two hundred fifteen gold. Did I put that in the party sheet? So there's nothing immediately behind the creature besides the secret door? No. Okay. I don't know what all that crap is drawn on there. You know, like all this stuff? Yeah, I thought that one was a chest, but it wasn't. That's a chest that holds a magic whip. Magic whip. So it whips you real good. It's only usable by elves, Miracle though. whip. Nice. I can disguise self as an elf, so that'll work. Disguise self as an elf. Um, it does say there's weapons oh, and belongings in these chests too, so uh, I would say there's at least a whip in the chest. If it's magical or not, uh, I don't know. Why would they uh, just toss it aside? All these spell casters floating around here. So we'll take anything that can be resold and take it with us. All right, I'm going to say you get uh, another... Well, we'll call it another 50 gold worth of shit so you don't have to lug it all. How's that sound? Nice. <laughs> it's just you just we get can, it. Uh, do you, if you want, we can... What do you think about selling this statue... Just that they just have to go pick it up. Yeah. We'll Deliver describe nine. it and then say, here we go. And... Delivery not included. Several able bodied movers needed. Several. You can't be scared. Several. Can't be scared. You need halflings. So do we need to go that that boy looks an awful lot like a girl. I know. He says My mom messed my hair up. I don't I think I thought there's... the cultist did it just to harass you. If 
Or evil cultist. My mother for doing that. My mom is a cultist. She's pretending not to be. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, is that what he says? <laughs> he twist. looks. He looks evil. <laughs> Kill him. Dun dun. dun. <laughs> I want a better description of this. So we got to go tell Schultz what we found? No, I don't think we have to tell him anything. Well, yeah. we can tell him we found the people. He didn't care. No, we he deserve the reward. He doesn't care about the people. <laughs> Is there a reward? There is now. There is now. Yeah, how much how much gold was in there? Uh, four hundred sixty-seven gold pieces, and there's yeah. still two potions of healing that's you guys are going to be leaving behind. Oh. Or did you? Or do I delete those because you added them to your? You properly did it. No one else wants them. I'll take them. Put them in my dagger. Put them in your dagger. Stab us with them. <laughs> Stab you, heal you. D4 plus 4 minus 6. <laughs> uh, you could throw it at us and heal us from across the room. Yep. All right, let's uh let's take a peek at this thing and see. That was, uh... Bastard. It doesn't have any, like, identifying marks or anything on it, the statue. But you definitely feel a presence at the statue, right? It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. Be perfect for a haunted house. It's mm -hmm. not alive. Maybe the community center can buy it and set it up in the youth center haunted house. Yeah, the the uh, the dwarf definitely thinks the this entire area was excavated around the statue. <laughs> Did we check out this this? altar really well I don't remember it's a table table yeah there is all this stuff really sitting around the bottom of the statue why don't you lay on the table and I want to take get the view from ten, there 10 minutes to cast uh, detect magic as a ritual Keston is going to take a short rest while they're still running around this place Ten minutes for a ritual, and it does glow magical. That big ugly thing is magical. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, I will so it's... ritually cast identify. Mm. It's not an item. You choose one object that you must touch throughout the casting of the spell. Ooh. If it's a magic item or some other magic imbued object, you learn its properties and how to use them. Whether it requires attunement and all that. Yeah, what what school of magic was it emanating 
or emitting? Hogwarts. 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 The gateway. Um, I don't know. Some school of magic. <laughs> Protection. I, I don't know. What would you call it if it was totally immune to damage magic? We alteration or enchantment? Mm. It's one of those. Probably enchantment. You think it's you think it's got magic on it that protects it from being damaged? School of plot armor. Does it tell you the strength? <laughs> Tech magic doesn't tell you the strength, though, does it? Just no, it just says uh, just if it is magical and the school and the school of magic. Identify isn't going to tell you the strength of it, but the identify will tell you that there is some kind of magical uh, spell that or magic that emanates from it that causes fear, but <laughs> you don't think it's a spell. You think it has something to do with the. The rock itself. She's scared of a rock, Marley. Is it black eyes? It's not black eyes, is it? No. It's. I don't know. It's making my brain hurt. I'm done. How do we get in here anyway? S, where's the way out? Right up the steps. You just keep going up. I, don't know, I was taking a nap. Yeah. Oh, we're taking a short rest. Are you taking a short rest in the room with the bulbous head guy? Oh, where's S at? S is all the way up here at the. Uh, oh, that's really a good spot. Fresh air. Some fresh water. Fresh air. Uh, so uh, a short rest is totally not out of the question. Uh, so let's do that. That sounds like an amazing short rest. Like, I got a nap and I'm ready to go. Short rest enough that uh, I'm gonna even. Do you want me to sing a song? Yeah. Do that. Uh, let's see. Song of rest. Only if Shame. I can accompany you with my hand drums. Uh oh. Sure, man. We'll uh, we'll not attract any attention out here in the wilds. Uh, oh, we're, okay. we're underground. Nobody can hear us down here. There, S gets an extra. I don't know. It's cock dice on this end. Did it do anything? Sorry, I. Three. Uh, yep. I had me a, three. A little lag. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, and song of Twice. rest. Who else used hit dice? Dalgren. I did, but I got You're all the full. way back to max. Pull up. More kill. No, I'm good. Oh, that's a. Uh, those are temps you've got. All right, we're good. Oreg. Nope. Nope, did not heal. Hmm. I did not burn hit dice. Right. Um, so what time of day is it? Hmm. 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 Thought we went there in the morning. Yeah. We went out the north gate and went around. I seem to have lost track of the date. It's 
Does the eight sound right to you guys? Yeah. Maybe? Sure. Eighth of Alturiac sounds right. And nine in the morning, like that? That sounds about right. So it's cold out. It's cold in here. S prefers it underground where it's warm. <laughs> yeah. Some At least time. near his steam pipe, anyways. I'm just making some DM notes over here. Radiator heat. I just noticed your your new little symbols that you added inside the area oh yeah I, th I found some uh i was looking through assets i was just playing with them some stuff that the art packs i think that josh made a couple little mm. things like that um so yeah you guys uh don't have too much trouble uh you know, heading back, uh, getting back around. But when you guys come around, uh, uh, this this fence is actually a little drawn in the middle of the road, but you kind of got to go down this road to get back, right? Up here. Yeah. When you guys get around, like, towards the uh, uh, gate, but... You know, you're not close enough to it where you can see or anything. You guys are, uh, um, are approached by, uh, he's obviously a jackal. I mean, he's even in his jackal hybrid form. Uh, but he's totally emaciated, right? Like, looks like he's starving to death. And coming from behind him is a smaller human jackal hybrid boy. And he looks up at you. And they're like, can we have some food? We'll tr my mama trade for it. And he points over to, you can see another um, female uh, hybrid, like, little bit of ways and she's got like a pile of junk kind of where they're trying to sell it for food <laughs> it's like a little like a, a little garage sale thing going on, on the side of the road kind of some more than i got <laughs> like yeah. over start looking at this shit. yeah <laughs> uh the the boys like come see come see come on daddy let's show him and uh, they try to, like, push you into a trap, and we got initiative. <laughs> God damn it, Marley. Uh, I figured that's what was going on. I figured that's what's well, going yeah. on. Yeah, I figured that was going on, because I'm Did an you? expert. <laughs> you are? You are. Well, I'm an expert uh, at uh, at making encounters and doing stuff. Um, I need the combat tracker. I need your guys' tokens, because i got to put you over here. You gotta remove some cultists. That's the yeah. Is distracting. They're they're falling, you guys. They're stuck to the bottom of your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you dra you're kind of dragging them around. And there's a somehow somebody's got a baby. I I don't know. I don't know. Um. So. It's in case I get uh, hungry. It's in case. Let me get these guys on here. So Marley, you're uh like right up here is where this is taking place, like over here. Oh, like I walked away from everybody. Well, no, the rest of the party's up here too. Okay. And that's what a werejackal looks like. <laughs> that's what the token looks like. <laughs> um. 
I would say you guys are probably something like that. Uh, seem. And this we're is heading the, to the east. Uh, this is the the two jackals. So he's like trying to shove you, and the the kids with you. So yeah, you guys are walking this way. So we're going to start off like right. Yeah, I don't know that I would have let them get behind me like this, but we'll go with it. We'll, well they're, they're, they're kind of over here when we start off, so. Right? And you and you were like here, and you like walked over here like that. And Oreg's like there, so you just kind of looked at the stuff over here. And that's where we're going to start off. Like you're right. right here. Did you? You didn't push initiative though, did you? No, no, yet. Let me. Uh, let me the door. roll. Oh, that's actually another button that I push at the same time. Like that. I didn't give them names on the on the map. They're all friendly. They're all jackals. Yeah, they're, they're all friendly. All, they're all jackals. Yeah, they're they're friendly fellows. They're trying to get some stuff from you. Please feed us. Please feed us. Yeah, right. There's all kinds of movement around you guys. As a jackal. Oh, that be fun. Creeping his way out. A little pack of them does, right? Come creeping out. Jack is the old is the is the dad and uh yeah he's gonna kinda hop or or step over here and then try to give Marley the old chevaroni. As you can see that there's like a like a pit <laughs> covered up where the chest is, like right where you're kinda standing. It looks like they try to set this up that way. Uh, so it's a opposed shove uh, check. So it's a strength or use dexterity. My inspiration. Yeah, I want to use my inspiration. And let's see. I probably want to go dex, acrobatic. Yeah, no problem. Not a problem. You just kind of step out of the way. And I'll say there. As there's a, uh, a trap there now. And uh, I would say that... Uh, you mangy mongrel. I would say he is no longer friendly. Oh, no. Well, we're not on good terms right now. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, I think the whole group of them need to be uh, readjusted here. Uh, Dalgron, summons a foot. <laughs> yeah, Dalgron's going to see this jackass try to push Marley in the pit, and he's going to cast a uh, sacred flame on him. Don't hurt my. Diddy. Your son looks like Scrappy Doo. And he failed. Kill him. 
Oh. Max. He's and like, is going to move. My hair. My hair. My hair's on fire. Right up into here. I forget where I get this map, but it's a pretty cool looking one. I did put some line of sight on. Let's add it. Does it change the encounter? A little bit. Um, I see another little pack of jackals comes out too, out of the other side. You think this is some kind of setup? Some kind of Over ambush? Or yeah. More cow. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, let's go ahead and uh cast uh, how big is this 20 i want to say i'm gonna cast spike growth uh is that a circle or a square a spike growth is a circle 20 foot radius like whoopi goldberg in the center square i, I don't I remember I remember mm -hmm. uh yeah that's fine uh let's just put it right there Sounds wonderful. Uh, so uh, there's all the nonsense that spike growth does. And then I will also uh, cast Shillelagh as a bonus action. Getting ready. Oh, wait, when do they need to perception check? All right, so everybody sees the area, so they don't need to even roll. Yeah, they just yeah. automatically take the damage when they step through it. And yeah. it's difficult terrain. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, S is going to start off by spitting at the jackal next to Marley. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that's kind of nasty. Two points of damage as you get it in his in his in his ear. And uh, I'm gonna run up close and. I'm going to attempt to shove him backwards. Oh, not so. into the pit? Uh, well, if I can shove him into the pit, then yeah. Uh, you would have to be there, but yeah. Yeah, I, I can move there. Um, so here's my athletics. Uh, he doesn't want to go in the pit, so he's going to try to use his dex to not go into the pit. Which he fails, and the pit is... I named the pit not a mimic, because it was the chest, not a mimic. Uh, discern, search, first, search, 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 intelligence check, well, these are sure. Detected to survey, you're triggered. Uh, oops. So it is 10 feet deep, or 20 feet deep, the pit. So he goes, Wah! Ouch. You hear him go thud There's in no the bottom. Damage. Yeah, you hear him go thud it's down in the bottom. He's like, Ouch. Maybe. Was that a ploy from the DM? No. I, didn't, I thought he was going to take damage. Uh, who's this guy? He's like, uh, I don't want to be in there. He's like, steps back. Hmm. You're going to come back this way. Starts barking. Starts running around this way. He's like, I can come around. Uh, he's going to 
step on this this one and go yay <laughs> and die. Nice. Jack Jr.'s like that was my daddy. And uh, he's going to pull out his scimitar and start slashing at your shins with it, S. Your calves. Okay. You chewed my daddy in the pit. You were supposed to go in the pit. And he misses. Okay, you're next. Yeah, that was my that was my sister's son or something. I don't know. It's Auntie. She she gets up and uh, she's gonna come over here. And uh, she also somehow amazingly has a scimitar in her hand all of a sudden. Well, and, uh, he entered. She entered my threatened square. I know it's not gonna do any damage, but I'm gonna attack her anyway. They hit her across the face. She's like, yeah. She goes, N -n 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 -n. and she slices at you with her scimitar. With disadvantage? With advantage? Oh, pack tactics. Two fives is not going to hit. Orag. So I'm going to slide up 15 feet and try a little stabby action. Oh, and the little kid. The little, uh, the puppy? I, I don't know what you call a baby jackal. Hit. Nice. Yes, it would be a pup. A hyena pup. Another jackal. Jackal pup. Um, so, let's start with this. Does it do? Yes, it did the sneak attack. He's like, Mommy, Mommy, you're going to have to do better than that. As you inject the poison into him, he's like, um, oh, I don't think that's a good thing. All right. Nope. This is going to kill him right here. Here we go. Ooh, max damage. Woohoo. Nice. With my piece of crap poison. That's why I need S to spit more. And then, uh. I'm just gonna put it away with the dagger. A little sneak. How oh, cool. deep is this ravine that I'm next to the canal? Uh, it's like a sewage drainage ditch. Uh, difficult terrain, basically. So I wouldn't be able. I wouldn't. I wouldn't fit under the bridge then, right? Uh, you would have to, like, crawl under it. Yeah. Low that's crawl that's through okay. the sewage. <laughs> yeah. Not worth it. Not worth it. <laughs> Either that's a Snickers bar, or maybe it's not. You're not sure. It's a baby Ruth. Uncle Jacques. He's like, Vivi, you have attacked my brother, and I am coming out to you to attack you. As uh, he, too, uh, pulls out a... Uh, a gaze look at Marley for a second and then he looks at Marley's pointed ears and he says you might be immune to my sleep gaze but you are not immune to my scimitar and he swipes at you with his scimitar oh he hits you Does S have PTSD from the crit from the scimitar? He had advantage on that? Yeah, his buddy's next to him. His buddy's 20 feet down the hole. Uh, no, the one here is not 20 feet down uh, the hole. Oh. Heck. I thought they had to be side by side. I no. see. No, pack tactics uh, within five feet of you. Just like the rog use. Uh, just like the down arrow. Jackal number five is like, uh, yipe. Uh, my buddy just died, and I don't want to be here, and I'm going to try to make it all the way out here. <gasps> That's two squares. There's no way. See?
No, he almost makes it. Didn't even, didn't even make it one square. Uh, Marley. Marley is going to look down in the hole at this guy and start to sing some Alice in Chains. Down in a hole, back as you saw, and all that. And, uh, you know, I'll say, uh, scroll, 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 vicious mock him. Viciously mock him. Ah, he failed. He's like, he's like my mom was in a hole. Two points. Your mom, your mom was a hole. And then I'm going to use uh, my mantle of inspiration. So let me untarget him. And I think I've got, well, there we go. Uh, Mantle of Inspiration gives everybody, now you may not want this. Uh, I'm thinking Morkel doesn't want this because it'll override its temporary hit points. No, it'll just take whichever one's higher, so it'll be fine. Okay. Um, and you guys can, as a reaction, move up to your speed immediately without provoking opportunity attacks. So here's the five temp for everybody. And then Marley, like, gets the hell out of Dodge. And moves back over here. Sorry, I had to step away from my keyboard. All right, and everybody's moving where they want to be for their reaction. All right, anything else? That's it. Oh, the trap. Uh, the trap doesn't get a turn, sorry. I'm like, top of round two is uh, Jacques, Uncle Jacques. He's like, Ooh, my cousin, my brother is in the hole, huh? He's like, well, you seem to be into fault for that. You there with the snake face as he swipes at you with a scimitar. Slashing your forearm for, ouch, seven points of damage. Um, no, this is the guy coming around all the way down here. They got a movement of 40. So he's like... <gasps> He's like, he comes running around the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a little jackal. He looks like a dog. You know, like a real jackal. Because he is. <coughs> um, climb? Let's see if he can climb. Strength? <laughs> he doesn't have a bonus to his strength. Uh, let's see. Yikes. Holy shit. Uh, he can climb up. <laughs> he climbs up, gets out of the freaking hole. 
That's what he does. More cow. All right. Uh. Ah, jeez. Um. Let's uh. Let's target that guy that just climbed out of the hole and see if I can uh, hit him. Yeah, let's say he had to climb up over here. It looks a little crowded over there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I probably can't see around oh. that corner. So, no, but that's I'm okay. okay. I'm okay. No, no. The, I, I could just move. <laughs> nah. All I right. Was just, uh, I was just saying a little crowded for the tokens, but not for him. Oh, sure. I see. Um, yeah, I'm just going to decaying reach at that guy. Not enough to put him back in the hole. But uh, that potion of healing in his pocket is looking pretty lame right now. Pretty lame. All right. <laughs> All right, so I am going to... Um, do a little nature check. Are these considered beasts? Um, jackals are considered, uh, humanoids. Okay. So they are just creatures then. So I'm going to, uh. Wait, wait, what are you, which one are you talking about? The, the jackal wares or the jackals? The jackals the, are beasts. The J's. The, the ones below, next to me, below S. If they look like the jackal tokens, those are okay. humanoids. All right, so I'm going to uh, use my normal whip. my combat whip, and so it'll affect these two as I snap it. Actually, no, I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm going to use my uh, basic whip, and it'll affect all three of them. As I snap it above, right above their head, and they have to save or be frightened. They're like, we are worshippers of the bulbous head. We are not afraid of nothing. I don't know the bulbous head. That's that's the statue, I guess. All right, two so of them. Two are of them. Are frightened. Um, in theory, that should work. We will see. <laughs> I've never successfully frightened somebody. Done this before, so we'll see. All right, and uh, and then I'm going to move some uh, 15 feet over to here. Not sure what that little guy is doing, so I don't trust him. S doesn't know this guy is frightened yet, uh, but he is injured, and S wants to get rid of him, so he's going to spit at him. It was pretty loud. Whoops! Yeah, but S isn't scared of him. He misses anyway. And that's all I can do, because I'm not level 5, and I don't have multi-attack. <laughs> and I can't hurt these guys anyway, so... <laughs> uh yeah let's just just delete that one i'm not even gonna make you roll uh <laughs> he just sits he just sits down uh this one can just hop right out of there though and he's gonna take off running this way Probably get around the corner. Get around the corner. He'll be coming around the corner. Coming around the corner. Coming around the corner. Dalgron. Well, Dalgron's going to uh, move down a little bit so he can see these guys since they all started hiding from him. To there. Oh, yeah, he can see him now. And he's going to... Cast Sacred Flame at the one that he hit earlier. Here, I'll turn that back off since it's not really 
being applied anymore. Uh, he he falls back in the hole. Ah, and he's gonna duck back where he came from, back down that alley. Down in the hole. Uh, Marley's gonna step up to here so he can uh, get a look at this dude. And that's Uncle Jack, right? I'm going to viciously yeah. mock him. Say something about, I don't know. He's like, it doesn't do your French is very poor. Sucks. You cannot influence my attitude today. Uh, I will bonus action. Healing word. On S. Ooh, you are much better at healing than insulting. Yes. Yes, he is. Um, and then I'm going to get back in here. With, I'm going to kind of step over here to the side. Dalgren. This, this is my spot. Down. No, it's my spot now. Move over. Jack Jr. He's like, get away from my dad. He pushed him in the hole again. He comes around and slicing at you with his scimitar. Oh, he like gets you in the, he gets you in the, he gets you in that spot that if it would have been a real like roll, he would have gained inspiration. You know, it was such a good one. It was such a good one. <laughs> um, but he does do critical damage to you. <laughs> Eleven, ouch. He's like, I hate you. Feelings mutual. <laughs> what? It's the trap. Skip turn. I know. I, that means I got to sit for it. I'm too relaxed right now. Look, look how comfortable I look. Don't I look comfortable? <laughs> um. She's like, that was my son. You fool. Wait, where is the hole? Oh, that's down there. Um, she's gonna she's gonna look at S and uh, and try to put you to sleep with her sleep gaze. Wisdom saving throw. Now, does my magic resistance apply? Is it a magical attempt? Um, no. It's a gaze. It's not a magical gaze. Okay. Uh, it's pretty low, though. Uh, an eight does not make it, though, as you fall unconscious. Clunk, clunk. She's like, just go to sleep, my little... Watch my eyes, and they're like, woo, 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 and you're like, oh, oh, oh. there's a nice little warm spot on the ground, and you curl up, and and, and uh, she passes her turn. Running around, joining up. Probably come running all the way up. All right, Dogger's going to come out again. Just 10 feet here. What's a Orag saving throw? It's the frightened. Oh. Actually, Dogren's going to go 25 to there. 
And is it an action to smack him and wake him up, or is that an interaction? Um, I think it's just, let's see. If someone uses an action to shake the target awake. Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll, I'll grab him by the, by the slim shoulders that he has and shake him. Just in time for him to wake up. Wake up, up damn you. Wake up. It's your turn. It's your turn, man. Wake up. Wake up, damn you. Hmm? What? Uh, so S will stand up because I assume he fell down when he fell asleep and yeah. turn around and spit in this kid's face. I'm not quite sure how long you were on the ground, but it was a just, just long <laughs> enough. Rag. So I'm going to lash out this time, and uh, this time I'm going to grab at her scimitar. Uh oh. Oh, that helps if I actually target them. There we go. That's it. All right. So she has. It has to be for her. It has to be a strength save. First, um, which versus my sucks at which is uh and versus my this one you said it's a save or a check um it's che i believe it's a check let me double, yeah. let What's me double like check uh, she, got, she got you beat right now whip a tag says Strength check against a strength check. Yeah. I mean, a dex, for, for me, it's strength or dex. So, yeah, you strength. don't. She's like a little stronger than you. So she pulls it out of your, out of your uh -huh. whip. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I want to move. Nope, I'm not going to move. So, I'm going to stay there. And,. Pass it to Marley. Marley. Everything Marley. relies on you now. Oh, there's nothing. Yeah, thanks. Um, Marley's going to step out here, and I need to get to there and check. Uh, there it is. So, one more step, I think. To there and I'm going to cast Bane at second level Bane awesome two and two and affects Bane Yes. And then move back. <laughs> uh, actually, there. Uncle Jack. He's like, oh, you have uh, some spellcasters in your party, I see. He's like, well, let's oh, yeah, dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no effect. As he uh, swipes his scimitar at S's side as he steps towards Dalgron. Number 18 is going to come join the party. <laughs> He's going to actually jump all the way over to there. Uh, this guy's going to come jumping in and try to get a hold of S's, S's pants leg or whatever. He's like, arr, 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 arr. <laughs> Why 
Why is he at a minus one? Bane. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Bane Jack Jr. is still on some more of S, definitely. You hurt my dad. What's that? Where did Oreg? He steps out of his uh, my reach. Does a sneak attack count on a opportunity attack? Yeah. It counts on any turn. Okay. It's just once per turn, but it can happen on any other turn. <laughs> he did. Zero damage though. He didn't seem to. <laughs> he didn't seem to flinch when he did that. Too. Uh. <laughs> What was I uh, doing? Uh, little kid was... Did he hit? No. He was about to try to hit S. Oh. He's got this new dwarf right next to him. Same height as him. Wait, did he already attack and miss? Yeah. He already attacked and missed. Uh... He's frightened. Jackie is frightened. Yeah, I think he's going to. Uh... So it did work. So Let's see, it says. Does the effect end if they make the save? Probably, because that's why he rolled. Because if it does, then it should probably be save end yeah. instead of they, save O. They may repeat the save at the beginning of their turn, when that was the beginning of his turn. So that worked. Um, it doesn't... I, Yes. Any creature makes the saving throw on a failure, they become frightened. And then they can repeat the save. He's scared. He's missing. Markel! All right, uh, Raquel's going to move up a little bit and go after this little one. Uh, so uh, here comes Decaying Reach. Oh, oh. that was terrible. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, so these little J's are actual jackals? Yeah, they're, they're canines. Okay. So that I can do something about. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and do a little whip action. With a one, though, <laughs> the mother gets in the way and it just totally messes everything up. You get all tangled up in your whip. You're like, crap! Step, you know, get off my whip. I'll yank it out from under her foot. <sighs> Sigh. Coil it back up. Ready to use it again. Well, he doesn't like that idea. You know, come and, like, jump over here, scramble around, snipping and scratching at you, growling and biting and... Or rag. It's not a wall? I thought I was hiding wow. in between the walls. Okay. Well, he... Scrambled around or, or somehow got over to you. He has no idea basic on this right now. Okay. He can't bite you, though. He's got a plus one hit. Rawr. Um. This guy's going to try to bite us. Rawr. Growl. Rawr. Rawr. Miss. Hey. Nice. Marley. Mm. Well, Marley's just gonna look at this jackass here, jackal here, and say, That's "It's a weird donkey." Viciously mock you. He say. How did you know my mother was a wet donkey? 
Oh oui, oui. <rire> euh... yeah. I'm still mad at you. I'm gonna. Oh. When he starts his turn, I'm gonna throw some spores at him. Oh. But it doesn't matter. Gosh. <laughs> No, oh, he's taking some chunks out of uh, S with his scimitar back here. Five points. Dalgron. All right, Dalgron is going to... take off his glove and start wiggling his fingers. And... Um, cast the uh, burning hands at these one, two, three, one, two, three, four, four of them, right? Uh-huh. And it's his second level because that's all he has left, so it's 46. Well, so hold on. Target him. Yeah, I guess any point in your square, right? Yep, that's the corner of his square 15 feet out. So let me target. Make sure I got them all. You have a dead guy too. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll target him. Burn yeah, he won't. He up. won't. He won't matter. Just in case he's regenerating um, or whatever, it's okay. You could. It's called double tap. I mean, that's a dexterity saving throw. A lot of halves. Let me drag this over, add one. Nice. Nice. And then um, S is still good for now, so that'll be the end of Dahlgren's turn. S. All right, well, S is going to continue to try and spit at this kid who keeps hitting him. Is it gorged? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Oh. And can't do shit. The trap says, I'm a whole, I'm a whole, I'm more cow. Alright, I'm gonna change my target a little bit and go after this, uh, this guy attacking S down here. Huh. That's a hit. Full points. A little bit. Can't regain hit points, so Uncle Jack says, Oh, we oui, we. Oui. I think I will continue uh, to slice at this snake man. And I throw some spores at him, but it never matters. So. I'm like the only one here <laughs> who isn't able to hurt them. <laughs> right? You should just be dodging. That's all you should be doing. You can Seriously. spit, which is more than I can do. It would be a good yeah. tactic right now for you just to dodge. If, if just I could hit it, the spit would be useful. Because <laughs> right now you're just soaking hit points is what you're doing. You're just soaking. That's oh, really all I'm doing. Three points. That was a lame attack. Uh, this guy is... He's scared. scared. He's scared, but... Uh, scared. Matter of fact, he's so scared. Charred. That uh, he's going to take his scimitar and try to hit S with it. And he does not succeed. He's like, unscoured. Unscoured. Top of round five, Morkel. Do, do we want to break it top of round? Yeah, do break yeah. it. I was gonna say oh, yeah, good. good. I, the time's been flying. Right. The time's been flying. So, yeah, we're going to do a 10-minute break. I'm going to start a timer here. Let's do 21.52 or something like that. 21. Let's do 53. Yeah, 11 minutes. That's good. Uh, I'm going to put the slideshow on and some music for your listening pleasure. Uh, and uh, you guys get 10 minutes. So hurry up. Go get a drink. You get 10 minutes. Hurry up back.
Magic, stop the town down, stop the stop the everything's. All right, we're back. We're most of all, all of us are over here. All right, well, let's continue, shall we? Markel uh, is doing something. I see him moving. He's doing the dance. He's, he's what's he doing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're we're going to keep trying uh, to hit this guy, decaying reach at that guy. Ah, that'll do it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> God. But he can't regain he... hit points. Well, so. yeah, he's, like, he's like, I am not regenerating anyways. Um... Jack Jr. Well, I think he's going to keep uh, doing the old slice and dice with the scimitar on S's. Uh... Ouch! Four points. Just nickel and diamond S to death. Dalgron. <laughs> Dalgron's going to um, use the... Um... Uh, where did it go? One of them buttons. Yeah. Sacred Flame. <laughs> on, um, let me try this jackal over on the other side of uh, S over here. He's a jackal? Or a yeah. jackal? <laughs> jackal. <laughs> And he failed. Uh, he's got a one, oh. a, a minus three is a zero. I think that it's a negative in my book, but I don't know. And that's uh, the end of Dahlgren's turn. Oh, rock. Uh-oh. Uh, Drake, it looks like there's <laughs> a random teleport for S. Uh, get time, yes. Uh, let's see where uh, where you go. Uh, well, a little, a little better placement, maybe. Thank, thank you. She gets uh, out of, totally out of melee with uh, everybody. All right. All right, so I missed this thing. So I'm going to uh, cunning action disengage. Hmm. Molly. Yes, definitely. Definitely donkey blood in there. Donkey gene. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop. But, yeah. You go, hee haw, hee haw. Hee haw, hee haw. He always calls me that. Uh. Jack was like, oh, 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 we're going to play fetch. We're going to play fetch. We're going to play fetch. Uh... Uh... It's going to come running around this way. Arr, arr, arr. It starts growling at you. S. All right. Well, uh, being down here, S is going to spit at Jackal. <laughs> Ooh. Finally hit something. Whoa. Nice. He had one hit point for the longest time. And then I'm going to come up right up to there. And then pass my turn. Oh, I'm going to throw some spores at that guy when his turn starts. Uncle Jack says, Oh, your spores are no match for my... Uh, 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 thud. Yes. <laughs> <Nice>. It worked. <laughs> uh, it's only the junior is left. Uh, 
it's like, I'm failing my saving throw for fear, even in the afterlife. Uh, yipe, yipe, disengage, yipe. Probably, uh, uh, this way. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Huh? <laughs> I was thinking. I was moving around. I was thinking. I don't know what your side looked like, but I was I was moving him around. If he he took off running, I'm gonna take an opportunity attack at him. He goes neener neener neener. I disengaged. He disengaged. Yeah. Oh, little fucker. He's not too far for the. He's got his tail tucked in. Sacred flame. Oh, you have somebody else targeted. That auto failed. But go ahead. Oh, he was damage. dead. Oh. And that's, uh, actually, Dahlgren's going to chase after him. He's running after 25 him. 25 to death. As you run across the bridge, it collapses and you fall in the shit. No. I'm, nice. There's a crack in it. Look. Uh, oh, this guy, this dying last thing he's ever going to do in his entire life, he's going to try to hump Oreg's leg. He's going to try to do it right here. Uh, no! And we know that's the last thing he's probably ever going to do. S. S is going to run up and spit at this guy. Oh, catches him in the back of the head. Pshh! He goes tumbling forward. Still alive, though. How the heck? Um, Markel. All right. Let's see if I can <laughs> capture this guy. Uh, kind of. And I will do uh, entangle. Uh, right there. I think it's. Uh, 20 foot square. Yeah. So I will cast Entangle right there. You're not getting away from me. Ah, you do grab him up. So he is restrained, uh, and that area is difficult terrain. Um, uh, which means spike growth drops, but that's fine. I dropped him up and ran him out of there. And uh, uh, I'll uh, move up. All right. All right. Once again, going to try smacking his dog with the rapier. Bonus action disengage. You're kiting this dog around. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> There's a dog in there. Careful. Uh, Marley's going to run over here and say, where, 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 and hold a cantrip, ready a cantrip, to viciously mock the dog if I see it. Wait, wait. You're gonna hold a vicious mockery, so you're like holding your tongue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hold it. I'm holding it. Uh, you know, I, I, never, I don't have a filter anymore. I just say whatever comes to mind. Zero filter. What? Uh, what? What's all this death, failure, saving throws and stuff? Um, <laughs> Marley, you get to go again. Your ready to action is over, and now it's your turn. You get ready um, again. Can I say, well, hang on a second. So, if I just move to here, I should be able to see. Yeah. Yeah. You mangy hound. 
He's like we'll running this way it. anyways. He's chasing after Aura. He's like, Rah! you know, he's coming that way anyways. We're with Animal Control, and uh, we just need to see your shot papers. We think you're a flea bitten dog. Fucking worthless, man. He just cocks his head and looks at you like, huh? Like, yeah, I'm going to get back behind that behind that wall. Uh, S. Son of a... With advantage, I can't. You need to change. Oh, okay. You need to change dice colors. I, I don't know. Yeah, S is having a bad day. He failed again. Finally, he was a tough little bastard. A tough little bastard started the whole thing. Started the whole thing. I think you guys definitely, definitely earn that button. Uh, as we're uh, out of combat. Did that jackal take off? Or yeah. He just ran away. Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> that's definitely... Uh, or he dies, or, or whatever, but... Marley scared yeah. him off. He's got one hit point in me. <laughs> the jackal's only had one hit point, so... He becomes your friend. I, I don't care. Whatever you guys want. But you guys are out of combat. And... Uh, Let's go see what kind of loot they had. I retrieve my whip. There's a ball of string in there. There better be something good over there, Marley. Retrieve my plus one spear. You didn't see all that gold on the ground? I'm going to get my... Uh... Look out for that pit. That org standing on. I'm going to put the uh, cloud of uh, Sphere of Annihilation over the top of you guys, and it's going to just start raining Sphere of Annihilations on you. <laughs> you can have your magical weapons, but uh, you're not for very long. Um, these guys are kind of poor. they got a really low percentage weapons. chance of having anything of value. I'm shocked. You're shocked? You're shocked. Um, make some jackal skin clothes. Plus, jackals are pretty good eating. Ask any Korean. Uh, the all said and value of said items is a total of three steel pieces. <laughs> hey, three more than we had before. Uh, but you do have a bunch What's... more scimitars. Oh, plus we have dinner. I mean, you or guys go back to town. Okay. You're gonna like change the freaking the price on scimitars. The, the everybody's the price is gonna get know, lower in the whole town. Every jackal we've seen no. has had one. They must be flush. Mm. That's what I'm saying. When you get like, into town, you're gonna be like dumping there... thirty scimitars into the into the economy there, and that the, they're they're not gonna be worth. Well, anything. They're in sets, so we have a set of cultist scimitars. Jackals. You can buy as a set. Jackal scimitars. You can buy as a set. Exactly. These are mounted and framed. Well, maybe this whole apocalyptic wasteland is based on scimitar currency. So we're going to flood the market and just crash the whole economy. Right. 800 scimitars for your freedom. Um, but uh, you guys make it back to, back to Trolls. Back to safety, right? If that's what and we you helped the woman you. get back to her house. The 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 prisoners, yeah, that that was you did that earlier. Okay. We got to keep the baby for payment for taking her home, right? The cultist baby you guys got. So we put it in an aquarium and just feed it a bunch of stuff to fat it up real good. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. <laughs> well, baby, baby. I, I guess we don't, I guess we don't, you guys don't need to be on this map anymore. I want my baby back, really. Oops. And, uh, 
I'll put you guys back uh, with Dr. Troy's group. And we're going to call it uh, like 10 in, the, uh, 10 in the morning still, right? I mean, uh, no, it's probably like noon by the time you guys get back. Scimitar coin, very unstable. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like Bitcoin. You, you don't know. It's going to go the way of NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> Cuts both ways. Da da da. All right. So, what do you guys want to do? Noon. I'm going to go clean up. Dip some my snacks and honey. You can't, you're getting concerned the honey, the honey supply is running low. Like, it's not out, but you're like... You don't know where any new honey's coming, right? Okay. We have to ration the honey. You don't have any bees. But we've got a bug bear. Bears like honey. Bears like honey. Here, I'll give you guys. Oh, uh, and bees uh, are bugs. I'll, right? I'll clean some dust uh -huh. off of your. Uh, That's why your we don't have honey. Processor fans, and I'll push this map to you. Valtrix ate all the bees. Clean some dust off your processor <laughs> fan. He had to fire up a little. Did it get pushed to you guys? Yep. yep. Oh, no yeah, one with to tokens or anything. That's because there's like <clears throat> 16 images on this one map. Yeah, there's a lot I, going on. Yeah, I, uh, I brought one of those uh, jackal corpses back with us not the wear jackal just a regular jackal so i'm gonna i'm gonna prep that for dinner at least for myself hmm. that's, that's um, on that one. imagine oh, yeah. a very hungry guys you go right ahead thank you imagine a jackal probably tastes like mutton right probably it's like a mutt at least gamey gamey like a little mutt. a little mm. old tasting stringy <laughs> tough Car probably not great meat is probably not as good as uh, herbivore. <laughs> but to you guys, it's more of the of the of the ritual of eating him than actually the sustenance. But it's yeah, having to here. pay a gold piece for food today. What's he doing here? Did you let him in, Dalgren? Marley Schultz is here. Schultz is here. Your friend. That's right. No. What? It was a, it was a flashback. He's like man. fast. He's going to go fight in the pit. Time for Marley to get his dress back on. <laughs> go entertain uh, I Schultz. Would, I would just for you, or We'll put him in the... Uh... We'll put him in the uh, big pit. There we go. Yeah. Look how little he looks in that pit. Tell him to fight that Minotaur guy. Oh no, this is the this is the the wear pits. Mm. This when you get to that level you gotta you gotta be wear. In the pit? Mm hmm. You gotta be wear. So when you get to that level you gotta be wear. So in the pit. In the pit. Who's on first? Hey, I'm on. Um, I don't know why we're looking at that. We're, what? So we get three more days of training 
in this one day? Because um, of our extracurricular activities? Counts as extra credit? You guys are actually... Uh, there's not a whole lot going on, like, in the immediate time frame. So I think you guys are going to get a few more days here. Um, I am serious. I am going to mount and frame, you know, a set of three scimitars with blood on them, actual cultist scimitars, and three. I'll right. argue with the rest of the crew whether or not we actually want to say these are from jackals or not. Are you using like uh, like your forgery skill kind of to to do this? Is this kind of something? Uh, do you, are you are you do you have any forgery kind of deceptionish stuff? I do not. I I'm the idea man. Just a matter of I'm the idea man. hiring the the carpenter the to build us a frame. Hooks. Shadow uh, box. To hold them. Yeah. Shadow box for them. So, are you going to, like, ask, like, you're going to put, like, a price tag on it and hang it up for sale in the shop or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sets. And then all the extra scimitars are just there to. If anybody wants them. Damn, the cops are coming. Or we might tout one of them, you know, buy a used cultist with a scimitar. Can we put a little sign next to him that says, great for kids. That's right. Train. My first scimitar is what we'll call it. <laughs> well, Wes would like to spend some time as well working with that piece of silver that we found with the bugs. And what he's really interested in is in forming some small, easily concealable, like shivs, daggers, essentially, uh, stuff that could be easily hidden and carried around and then brought out <laughs> if we get in a fight with these things. What if you ground it into a powder and you <laughs> in your face? So, I mean, how easily do you want these to be, be able to be applied, like, time frame wise? What do you mean? Like an hour, and you could have your your weapon all hooked up with the silver. Or do you want something quick, like like one round? No, one, not, not one quick. Turn. I mean, if we're gonna we're gonna be here a few days. I'm proficient in armor's tools, and I was just trying to see if I could come up with a way to have a weapon that's easily concealable that has some silver in it. Like just a, a small letter opener, dagger. Yeah, a prison shiv <laughs> that I can hide. Oh, you can. I mean, a, even a dagger is pretty conceal concealable. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to call it a shiv or whatever, just give it the dagger. Um, you know, stat. Are you able to does. silver this da dagger with a reservoir on it? Can you coat it with silver? Yeah. That is doable. Yeah. Well, then I want to do that. I want to make at least a couple. I don't know how many I can make from. Because I can't do anything silver. against these guys except for one use Neither of poison. Can I. I'm so. just standing around with my finger up. An my acid. Mouth. So. So. That would be you, great. You guys are um, gonna use that silver cloth that thing, right? Thing. Yeah. And you want to make a dagger. A silver dagger Ideally and two, at least two. Well, we're just adding silver to the one we already have, so we're just putting a coating of silver on one. I think that thing is probably big enough that you guys could actually do multiple weapons with it. Um, I'm gonna need some kind of smelting kind of thing going on. Who, who's gonna be doing the heating up shit and and melting shit and? S is proficient in smith's tools. Well, that'll probably so, help. 
Yeah. And a and dagger so, is a tool that a thief uses, and I'm proficient in thief tools. What's the uh, what's <laughs> the rule on silvered weapons? It's 100 gold? It's 50, I think. 50. Let me double check that, because... I think the 50 includes the cost of the silver, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's really where the cost comes in, is buying the silver... Silver in the time of the blacksmith, in which case he's both. Or if it's silver, it's whole. Yeah, that's what I was kind of basing on how much silver there was. and. Uh, uh, how you much can it... silver a single weapon or 10 pieces of ammunition for 100 gold. 100. Yeah. And. Cost represents the price of the silver and time and expertise needed to add silver to the weapon without making it less effective. So it's really the materials and time, which we both have. We already have. We get what you get plenty of. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's not a problem. I'm just trying to figure out how much silver you guys actually have to do. Um, the thing's pretty big, right? I would say... And it's not specific to how, what size your weapons are. So I'm going to say you guys have nine weapons worth of silver. Oh, if okay. you want, if you want. Yeah, the worry is just getting caught with them, so that's why I'm only focusing on, like, daggers. Right, they could cause a whole problem. <laughs> yep, something that fits up the sleeve. I'll take one. Constantly running around without anything in an, a region where everything is freaking aware. I don't blame you guys for wanting to stash something. And that's what I'm saying. I think you could even get to the point where you could actually make your pike silvered mm -hmm. if you took an hour to equip your silvered into it you know what i mean like you could make an end on your pike that was silver so that you could be re the end. yeah that could be removable but it takes you an hour to do it okay i mean i'll i'll make a silvered pike head but as one of your nine weapons yeah. you can you can do that so let's let me track that and that's the same with any of you guys if you if you want something that you want to swap out in the for the hour during a short rest or whatever and add it to a weapon and make it silver and i'm fine with that like your whip if you wanted to add take an hour and add you know silver strands to the end of the whip or something well, I would rather do the dagger, which we already did, and the rapier. Well, so the warhammer. rapier is my primary weapon. So. Well, the rapier is a little hard to conceal. Um, vicious mm -hmm. mockery is your primary weapon, so. Yeah, maybe you warhammers, should... rapiers, those are all really visible. It's maybe the... you should silver your tongue, maybe. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, he can get pierce it. We can pier do a piercing. <laughs> Let me come look at that. Well, you guys uh, are gonna get a, a pretty fast forward here, all the way to the eighth of Tarshak. We'll what day is it now? It's or how many the, days is that? It's a, it's it's a. Two months. It was Alturiac. It was the eighth of Alturiac. So that's like yep. uh, one, two months. Uh huh. So 60 days. 60 days. And by the way, you don't have to click every day. You can just change the number. <laughs> For those of you doing the training. So it's 60? Yeah. 60 days. So 18, 18 becomes 78. I don't know. When I don't click it, it doesn't feel like I made progress. All right. 
I think it'd be pretty funny to click have. So I'm gonna do 77 and click it once. 60. <laughs> so Marley goes around for a couple of months, and he's parroting everything you guys say. So he's trying to learn impersonation. Is that Schultz sneaking around the outside of our building? Schultz is coming in. He's like, yeah. So I've put three silver daggers into the parcel. Into the party sheet, sorry. And took one back for myself. I don't need any daggers. I don't get close enough to use them. I figured it was Marley and uh, Orig. Did Morkel want one? He's got Shillelagh, which... Yeah, I'm good. Shillelagh and, and cantrips, so I'm fine. Sacred Flame works just fine. Yeah. Still the same. It's still correct. Okay. So during this time, are we able? To, am I able to get sixty uses of S's poison? Sixty uses. Uh, I, would... my, I just have one backpack with nothing but S poison in it. So you just stock full of all these glass vials that have like a little rubber lids because he had to like inject it. I don't know how he does it. Is it's it like a camel, could... camelback, but it's full of poison. Sorry. I could mutate into a giant poisonous snake, and you could milk the snake as well for variation. No, well, Markel and I have been milk working on me. this. Give me a. Uh... Some kind of skill roll for your for your artistic representation of scimitars. Okay. Nice walnut plaque. Slight of hand. He tries to he tries to oh. he tries to steal some money out of somebody's pocket and put the put the. Well, I do that more of being dexterous no. with I know, a I Calligraphy and maybe filigree, making some fancy sketch, sketch, uh, carvings and stuff. So, roll me percentiles, Spinster. Let me just check something real quick. Did we build a CNC machine or something? And I'll I... I'll remind Marley Marley when uh, Schultz comes in, push the scimitar. We've got a lot of scimitars. Let's see if you want a scimitar. Authentic yeah, yeah, cultist okay. or authentic jackal scimitars. They're one of a kind. Okay. Gotcha. Watch it come with a, a certificate of authenticity. Give me a. There's only one of a hundred. Persuasion uh, with advantage. <laughs> All numbered. Because Schultz persuasion is. Persuasion with. <laughs> yeah. Really looking them over. That's a, that's really that's real jackal blood. Uh, hmm. Do you want to try it? Yeah, it's okay. He says, mm, "This is, I like the way the the rust is starting to bleed through the bottom of the scimitar." <laughs> we, That's patina. Like, yeah, patina. He <laughs> says, "I." would not want to uh, why am I talking French all of a sudden I am German <laughs> <laughs> says in schnitzel and in in Hagen das ice cream yes I am German and I uh, he says I I have something I would like to trade for your for your art PC 
He says, "You know us. We're always willing to trade. You know, if if, if it's right for both parties." He sets uh he sets his scimitar up on the up on the counter. He says, "It's uh it's a shiny scimitar. Yes, it sparkles with light." He's got his own scimitar that he's showing us. Uh huh. Yep. He offers to trade you a moon touch scimitar. Ooh, it's magic. Definitely. You know, Schultz, I think you've got. Do you hear from? You've got a deal. Different show behind different haggle. paintings and stuff. <laughs> yes. Yes. He, he, oh, he pushes the he pushes Do the it, scimitars over and he slides it. Schultz, it's been a pleasure. I'm sure you will enjoy those. They will look great hanging over your mantle. He kind of slides it back. He says, over, stand behind him over here. He says, no, no, this is not for over my mantle now. He says, I have taken down what I had hanging over to my mantle. This is to replace what is going up there. It's the perfect fit. It's like, because he, he's like measuring the size of it. Fantastic. He fantastic. tells you that he's getting evicted. What? He's getting yeah. evicted. Who did you piss off? He says, I don't know, didn't they for Troll? My, my <laughs> dude, he, he tells you uh, that his duties at, uh, at the fort have, uh, have been moved. He is no longer a uh, custodian. He says there is a garrison moving into the fort. Is this going to so, be trouble for us? So he's leaving the scimitars as the new garrison uh, commander's new mantelpiece. And he's taking one. Nice. <laughs> and he's taking the nice one that was hanging there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now I want to know what he's taking with him. <laughs> Everything else. <laughs> it says, when I get the new office, I will let you know. But you'll still be here to, like, uh, protect our store and everything, won't you? He doesn't know where he's going. Yeah. Well, you hurt yourself doing the air quotes on that? Yeah. Yep. Protect. Protect and serve, Schultze. Protect and serve. So there's a new boss in town. Yeah, we yeah. know who the new boss is. Yeah. You do know who the new boss is. Have you guys met him yet? You haven't met him yet, have you? He just left. Dr. Troy said he was the new guy. He found himself in the position of power. The, the new same as the old boss that's right the new garrison commander uh, Mr. Garrison <sighs> what, 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 why, not, why don't I have it what's going on I don't know if I noticed before that this table is just covered in mushrooms. Yeah. Special just for you. I added it. Um, General Gonzalo is the new garrison commander. General Gonzalo. I like Troy better. It's a better name for him. <laughs> nice. Uh, he is a uh, 
a noble. Uh, he's actually... Uh, royalty, technically. Not that they're using royalty as a form of leadership in in the in the black dogs but uh he would be considered royalty uh not just because of it's not because of his rank as a general it's because of who he's married to which you guys haven't discovered that yet so who is what are they called in the wolf society his his mate his mated pair I don't think Schultz would know that either, so I can't really tell you guys that right now. I don't think Schultz knows the detail. Well, maybe he does. Let me, let me. He might have heard it. Let's see. Let's roll for old Schultzy boy here. He knows oh. lots of things. He's, he's well connected. Um, he hears a lot of stuff. Uh, it's what he remembers that is some kind, sometimes is... Got a shaky memory. Why is he so hard to find? <laughs> I can't spell. That's what I can't spell Sergeant or Schultz. I just keep screwing it up. <laughs> <laughs> and rename him Colonel Pink. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him an abbreviation, Sergeant S G T, and then we're good. Then we're good. Uh, no, sorry, we tried. He's like, mm, I skipped that day of training. <laughs> Do you guys got any other uh, questions for Schultz? In the, in the last 60 days, Schultz is going to fade from well, your... If he hasn't heard of anything uh, that needs our attention... I'm sure we told him about the disappearing people, right? Oh, yeah. That happened Not that he cares. Well, that happened well before the 60-day time frame went by. Uh The missing people. You tell him all about that stuff? Somebody give me a persuasion. Uh, that would be probably Marlin. Right? Charisma? Right. That's pretty good. So, what were we uh, trying to find? <laughs> I just question. blanked out. I just blanked out. Tony. Oh no, we told up. Schultz about the missing people. Oh yeah, the, the dirt, the missing people. Because I was looking for the freaking stupid quest thing here. The missing people uh in the persuasion schultz uh does seem interested in the missing people now that you said you find them and uh marley your persuasion was good give me an insight check now that might be a different story yeah maybe um yeah schultz tells you that there was a a thousand gold piece reward for the information leading to the missing persons. Really? Uh-huh. 
then you totally don't believe him. Like it's all bullshit. No. Well, if it's a thousand for information, what is it for actually rescuing them? Yeah, that. That Schultz. <laughs> yeah, that Schultz. He's like... He tells you, uh... It's 1,500 gold. Where do we collect that? He says, I... Do you just have to give me the proof and I will bring you the gold. Yeah. We pull out the dead head, the dead boy's head. He shrugs. Good enough. <laughs> no. You got the baby. <laughs> no. Uh, Orog has like lots of stuff that he's collected up out of the chests. Uh, he specifically yeah. said that last week, so that's good enough for Schultz. -y. So yeah, fifteen hundred gold pieces for, for two chests full of crap. Dang. Some clothes and stuff. And a moon touch dagger or scimitar. And a little better on your inside check, you could have gotten 2,000 gold. You could have, but you didn't. Schultz got 500. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Do you guys have some money in the party sheet that I haven't given you? Yeah, look at that. You already got 467 in there. You haven't dispersed yet. Nineteen four sixty seven coming y'all's way. Yeah, maybe push Wait. along the rest of this so we can get rid of these blood drops on us. Nineteen sixty seven. Nineteen sixty seven. Not nineteen four sixty seven. You 19, think it was nineteen four sixty seven. Nineteen sixty seven. What happened to my year? Nineteen sixty seven. I'm born in 1967. Uh, and I put the the uh, moon touch scimitar in there too. Um, so there's still one of them daggers in there. Yep. Well, there was one silver dagger for Oreg, Mork, um, Marley, and I. So I've got mine. Marley, mm. did you take your silver dagger? Yes. All you did was silver the dagger we do with the. Yeah. Dagger I already had with the uh, poison. Yeah, so if you already Whatever got it, you can called. modify, just modify reservoir. the weapon. The, the dagger with the reservoir, so I already silvered okay. it. So that can be deleted. Uh, moon Touch Scimitar. Isn't that you? I'm Thank happy to take it's, it. It's a martial weapon. I, I can't use it. I don't know if rogues could or not, so... I mean, even if I yeah, did, I it's don't care. I don't it's a light weapon, but it kind of uh, it's bright light, light when you have right it drawn. It's the best thing we it's the best thing we got for a frontliner right now, you know, in yeah. a world full right. of it's magic, stuff, so. and it's safe, not illegal. Well, with, with that, I wouldn't carry around the silver dagger. I have that available to me. I might keep it hidden in a backpack or something. Maybe if you guys like mark it on your sheet concealed or something then we can we can really uh Now does Dalgon have anything? And he can you use a scimitar? He's got sacred flame, it works pretty good. Yeah, he's got cantrips. <laughs> yeah. You know, come to think of it, I Marley probably wouldn't even he'd keep his silver dagger stashed away unless we were going out into the wilds. Yeah. No. That makes sense. Because, uh, I yeah. mean, the, you know, the ravens and the yeah, you know, so the dogs this, don't really. The safe place, obviously, in your secret hidey room here. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll just unequip that. unless. Or even out. down in the uh, basement, it's pretty safe to some degree. No one really knows of that way down there. Well, there's Girls of the Feywild magazines. Hey, don't. You just leave that alone. Oh, Girls of the Feywild? I think you mean Girls Gone Feywild, right? <laughs> <laughs> the horny half-elves. 
cleaning up some uh, stuff here. Oh, this one. This is going to be fun. <laughs> so, so you guys are, uh, you're, uh, as you're idling away an afternoon, or whatever, you might be, you know, hanging out somewhere or resting at your base long of operation resting, yes, or long resting. yeah let's let's definitely give you guys uh, that long rest before we uh, <laughs> that's a good call because I, I i totally wanted to do that um yeah, i only had one spell slot matter of fact i'm going to give you two because i know some of you might have used some of your hit die But, uh, you, you guys, uh, I want to see something in Sirenscape. Perfect. So you guys here, uh, like you're kind of like hanging out front or something, like just out front of the building. And you guys hear like clattering noises, like coming down the street. And you hear like surprise yelps and a very frantic bleating. Shade? Dinner has arrived. And uh, sure enough, uh, you're not surprised as a sheep comes bounding towards you guys. You know, just a regular sheep like fluffy white coat black face <laughs> curled horns he comes uh -huh. running down the street right towards you guys he's like okay you can hear him is he charging or okay i'm going to use my whip right. to try to slow him down and not hit him but just make the, the crack noise and slow him down do we see anybody chasing him? <laughs> Make the crack noise. Uh, <laughs> no, but you get the sense that he is being chased. He does look like he's looking back. But you also, as he as he gets right up close towards you guys, you see there's uh, like a, a scroll in his mouth. What? And he, and he comes running right up towards Marley. Like, he's trying to, you know, if... If Aura gets in the way or whatever, he tries to juke around and 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 he's just he's bleating and he's he's trying to get up to close to Marley. What did you do to that sheep? Hey man, this shh, I didn't do nothing to the sheep. <laughs> I mean, do you let him get? Sheep. He's taking a liking to you quite well. Well, if it comes up to me with a scroll in its mouth, I'm gonna say what. A Maybe it's a messenger animal. I mean, he it looks like he's trying to give you the scroll. He's like, he's shaking yeah, his head. Okay, I, t I take the scroll. I take <laughs> bleeding. <laughs> he takes it out of his mouth and he he, he like shakes I, his I'm head. I'm sorry, Drake. He... I was just waiting to get my ass kicked by the sheep. Is what I was. <laughs> it's a little sheep. It's like a little. It's not a big sheep. It's like a sheep. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> it's not a were sheep. So he, he he's like, the sheep's like looking at you and he's looking back the way he came and he's looking at you and he's looking at the scroll and he's like, and he goes, okay. Uh, it's customary. So I open the scroll, I look for at it. Tip. So there's a, a couple silver. It's there's a, there's a seal on the, on the scroll that identifies the scroll right. clearly as a speak with animal scroll. But it looks like it's been modified. I don't know what to do with this. Morkel, aren't you... Uh, 
You know, you you talk to animals, don't you? I I, I mean, I could try. The sheep looks at the scroll and looks at both of you guys and says, I think the sheep wants to talk. Oh my god. And, uh, and he nods. I'll, I'll the sheep the, nods. I'll take the scroll from Marley and open it up and it I assume it's it looks like it's a normal uh speak with animals. It looks like scroll? it's been modified. Modified. <laughs> Mo- modified how? Can I tell? Uh modified to allow the sheep to work on the sheep. I, I don't know. All right. Uh, what the hell? All right. I will uh, read the scroll and, and cast the spell. To speak with sheep scroll. <laughs> specific to <laughs> this, this sheep. This one specific yeah, so sheep. It's, it's just simply reading it, uh, the scroll out loud is enough to activate the spell within. All of them hear the sheep's baying instantly morphs into a cultured elven accent common. I'll bet with a slight hint of a bleat. <laughs> so, <you> say, mm. <laughs> go boy. This is the sheep says, no, oh, well, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, c- can you understand what I'm saying? Are you there? <laughs> and he hoof points at somebody. Yeah, we're here. Why am I? Are you are you making fun of my in, in, in disadvantage? The sheep named Timmons. Um, my name is Fine Thirst Shinebright. I happen to be uh, a wizard in dire need of aid. If Your you're willing, broke. if you're willing to listen, I can explain. Perhaps inside. Hmm. If your house he, broke, you can come in. He looks back. Okay. Squeezes a couple pellets out and then says, Very well. Uh, that's kind of embarrassing. But uh, I'm quite used to it now. All right. Well, I'm gonna... He kind of slips a little as he comes in the well, door. Cause to... He's got a little. You should collect, collect some of that. Here, That'd be great for growing mushrooms. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you say that like I haven't just been collecting all of yours. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, this this toilet doesn't flush. It's just a bowl. Could you imagine what Oreg produces? So, so he's like, uh, well, I sort of need your help to uh, um, help me retrieve a... Uh, an artifact. Yes, it's, it's just some insane wizard has it. Uh, but uh, I'm afraid. Uh, you see his ears like flatten back on his head, like he's scared, and he he kind of cowers down a little, and he and he and he says, Mrah! and he says, "Oh my!" As you guys hear the uh, sound of uh, a howling fills the air outside and you uh, lock the doors you hear uh, like screams and, and yells and things people running away and uh, aren't you supposed to put blood like <laughs> lamb's blood over your door frame or something <laughs> no. he's like well, I'm not a lamb I'm a sheep don't you dare stick me with that sword he, this, he runs away from me. <laughs> what kind of artifact could a sheep have that a crazy wizard would want? Right. This is a conversation that you guys are going to have to have uh, pretty soon with the poor sheep guy. But uh, I think uh, I think we're going to drag our feet a little and uh, and pick this up next week. We're uh, <laughs> so yeah. I'm still casting gentle repose on that. Guy's sister every ten days, right? <laughs> She's yeah. still in the back room. <laughs> That's six gentle reposes on. Her. So what's I'm it gonna you what's it gonna take for us to get the dead lady out of your out of your base out of your out of your uh, closet? What's it gonna take? 
I thought we had to get a speak with the dead um, spell scroll or something. So, yeah, we're waiting to level up. Level. So that's yeah. it. I, all you gotta do is level up. Well, then just level up, bitches. Yeah. Get that, ah, there we go. Well, get that old lady out of there. Let's get to fifth <laughs> level because you know <laughs> fifth level is the level. best level. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fifth yes. level. Ooh, destroy undead. And uh, we're gonna we do some. Uh, yet. We're gonna do a little sheep action on the on next next session. Uh. Sheep action. <laughs> yeah. You guys Pretty. also. Uh, um. Orag, you uh, inquire about honey. And uh, you do find out that there is honey available, uh, but it's pretty far away. What happened to the normal supplier we used to have? Uh, Rusty? That was the very first Rusty's thing not that a happened when we Rusty, came up here. Yeah, he's not a supplier. He, he is a, a delivery service. So... Rusty was paid to bring honey to you guys before Dr. Troy took off, so. Because my 60 days, my snacks are gone. Yeah. You... Even in a freeze dry, <laughs> they're, they're gone. Uh, but, I mean, if you inquire around, you can probably find Rusty. If that's yes. what you're looking so, for. I'll inquire of Rusty, case, find out where he got the honey from, how much it costs to get another one. <laughs> He's a Viking. <laughs> you, you guys didn't meet him already? Nope. No. Thought it was a halfling. Delivering a jug of honey? No. <laughs> like a huge cask of honey on his back. He's a strong what? halfling. I don't judge. I don't judge. Uh, so, Rusty. Rusty said, Rusty's a big guy. He, he's a real big guy. Uh, he tells you that uh, there is a place for honey. He says, but it, uh, the arrangements for purchasing of the honey is... With them, I am just the delivery service. Rusty's UPS service. He calls himself UPS. Underpaid services. That's what he says he is. That's right. He's always complaining he's underpaid. Does he wear a brown outfit? He does. He's got like <laughs> rusty red hair, you know. Only the bottom half. He, he wears like a, like a huge, like, Backpack, like massive backpack. You could, it looks like you can hold like a Buick back there, you know. Should get a bag of holding. Um, but the honey place, where is the honey? Oh, I gotta get to the big map. Hmm. Honey is T nine. Ugh. So the honey farm is down here. Uh, he tells you the place is called. Uh, come on, pointer, get out of the way. Beepus, Beepus honey. Beepus. B -E As in Beepus. B P. I S B E P I S B P S yes. B urine honey okay. Yeah. B P S. B P S honey. It's bee vomit. Bee, bee vomit. <laughs> the honey comes from flowers inside the the wear bear controlled city of undead that used to be now is the farm. They call it the farm. Yeah, I wonder if I can go be a wear bear. I mean, owl wear bear. That'd be. Confusing. Especially at night. 
He's like, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> so that's, I mean, Rusty tells you that's where the place is at. He's like, it's like, if you order honey, I can bring it to you. He doesn't know how much the honey is, though. Oops. So it doesn't Control really help that you. that area. That's inside that green and black dashed. Bears. It's the bears? Yeah. The bears. Oh, Duh. In, inside bears. The, uh, the this whole area is the werebears, yeah. But the honey no, place in here. Yeah, that's the that's the um Red Dogs. Military controlled zone. Which Rusty says he can travel. Alright, so am I taking speak with dead? Or did somebody else take that? Well, can't the cleric just do it for free? Yeah, just dip it for free. For yeah. Day. Okay, good. I don't have to take that. Yeah, because I can memorize it for a day and then sleep on it and change it. Rusty. What's that, what's that dude going to do when we ask what the combination for the safe is and she just refuses to answer? I mean, speak with that doesn't compel them to give a truthful answer. I think I'm going to have to right. rewatch Ghosts in the Whoopi Goldberg scene where where she gets possessed by the, the guy and she's like asking him where the will is at or something. I remember that scene. That's kind of what you guys are doing. Yeah. It's a magic. Help! Where'd you put the wheel? I don't know where you hit the wheel. <laughs> I think we're done. What do you guys think? 11 o'clock? You bet. You guys got leveled up. Fifth level now. Yeah, 15 sessions. Magical that's uh, that's a level every three sessions. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good average. It is. Yeah. I mean, if if we do it this way, uh, to get to level twenty, how many sessions is that? I will be done quick. Yeah, sixty sessions. Yep. Going in sixty sessions. <laughs> nice. Tier three uh, will be your longest leveling. And then uh, tier four will be your fastest. It will be faster than tier one. But it's a lot of story. Hmm. All right, let's do All it. Right. Let's see if there's somebody we want to go raid. Who's on so the raid? Everybody got channel? their double attacks now. Finding at five. Yep. Actually, aren't isn't S the only one that gets it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do as much good. But we all all our proficiency bonuses went up though. Yep. Yeah. Attacks, spells, saves. Cantrip yeah, damage. Cantrips. Yeah, the cantrips go vicious, up. Yep. Vicious mockery is no longer uh, one. One dice, two dice, yeah. All right, we're gonna go raid Long Dark Forever, who is uh, is a friend of mine, uh, not D and D or whatever, but uh, he's streaming, and uh, that's the only person I see. So we're just gonna take that over there real quick. So just give him a quick hello, and then get out of there. But uh, I'm gonna start the raid. We got uh, like nine seconds or something. If you're in chat and want to stick around for a minute. I'm going to go raid. But all you guys hanging out, uh, why don't you check us out on Thursday over on Marbania stream. He's going to be doing some Deadlands, Savage Worlds. That's right there on at 8 o'clock over on his channel. And then Friday, Empire of the Ghouls with Matakiri DMing. 
right here at eight o'clock and then saturday all things or uh sorry over on rob's channel uh storm lord's wrath and then <coughs> whatever the show and back here on tuesday that's it that's the schedule it's right down there on the bottom so uh we're gonna go raid right now so we'll see you guys around see see good night everybody good night everybody bye 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 bye, -bye.